Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Lobster here, with another fix slash performance tech tip. Have you recently bought an AMD 7900 or 7950X3D CPU but you feel like you're not getting the performance that you're expecting? Then I might have a fix for you. Now before we dive into this tweak slash fix, I highly recommend going back and watching Joe's Two Cents recent video that he put out on these CPUs and the lack of them actually being utilized correctly. It provides an excellent background helps you understand the fundamentals of what might be happening. If you've tried everything in that video that Jay has suggested um, with all the settings and things like that, that that he's gone over and you're still having an issue then keep watching the technical part. I'm going to walk you through some registry changes that, that need to be done to ensure that Windows will then essentially take any graphic intense process or application that it detects and actually puts it onto the X3D vCache as intended by AMD. These tweaks are for those that have tried everything else, still feel their system isn't performing up to par. So if you've done what's in Jay's video, as I said, and, and it's working and you, you can look in Task Manager as, as a brief example, open something like PUBG, um, CSGO, Delta Force, any of those titles, open them. And if you look at Task Manager, um, change your process of view to logical processes and you see the top row the top two rows are being the most utilized cores then that indicates that it's working as intended you shouldn't have to do any sort of tweaks in any way to, to get it to work but if you've done what's in the video that Jay's put out and you're still having problems like myself and a few friends I found that this tweak ensures that it's essentially enforced so that it puts it onto the 3db cache and functions as intended so the first thing you want to do is open your start menu and then type in run or um, you can hit the windows key and the letter R. You'll then be presented with this run box here. Um, at that point you can then type in reg edit and that'll then bring up the registry editor. Now the key we're looking for in question will be in this location which I'll make sure to put in the description box below. So that you can simply copy and paste it into the top um, of your regedit window. So essentially what you would do is you'd grab it from the description box. Something else will be in here. You paste it in. You hit enter. It'll take you to the top level directory as seen here. Now the folders that the relevant changes need to be made are preferences. And then inside effective power mode you've got game mode and mixed reality. Now the, the key that needs to be updated for each one of these is you've got default type so default type of zero will leave the configuration on what's referred to as frequency mode so that essentially will just do whatever's got the highest frequency um, based on cpu core performance windows then will prioritize that as being the primary location to then put all the workload we don't want that being the case we want it being put on the x3ds because then we make use of the the larger v cache to apply the change you simply will need to open the preference folder double click on default type and change this from the value that it would be on zero simply change that to one hit ok then head into the game mode folder under type do the same thing change this to one and then the same thing for mixed reality change that also to one now there is a League of Legends folder here, I changed the type of this as well, just for continuity's sake, ensure that all the types are set to 1 as, as shown here. So now you're probably wondering how do we go about confirming that the setting has taken place. So after you've put the setting in place and you've done a reboot of your PC, uh, fire up your favourite game title, whatever it'll be, PUBG, um, Delta Force, Counter-Strike, any of the sorts, um, hell even Borderlands. And once it's open, uh, give it a give it a minute or two alt tab and then open up your task manager head to the performance tab and the cpu should be the default primary that's highlighted now for most people you'll be given this logical overall view of your cpu util or utilization now what you want to do is you right click on the background and once you right click on the background there should be a change graph to option and you then select logical processes and what you'll then be given is all the individual cores that your CPU um, is running with. So essentially, as you can see here, the back cores, uh, these bottom cores here are the non x 3 d cores that I'm, that I'm hopping the mouse over. Now, the, for the most part, this is what will tend to be in a higher usage value when 
you when you're gaming and things without applying that that registry key to ensure that it's on the x3d course now obviously my back cores here are a little bit higher because i am currently recording with obs so naturally that will then pull these up now the other thing is to notice is these top row of cores here these are your x3ds now if you open your game after doing the change and these are at a, at a sort of 70 60 70 percent usage mark or thereabouts then that means you are running on the x3d cores now what you should notice is there should be a significant uplift in fps overall i found i found i've gone from anywhere from 100 to 110 fps more just by making this change to then be able to use the x3d cores correctly compared to where it was occasionally putting the game on the cores depending on sort of the type of day or the weather essentially so yeah that's the the the, the simple fix i've tested it with several friends that have variants of these cpus now the 7800 x3d that's why everyone is is raving on about that as being the cpu for gaming that will that needs no tweaking straight out of the box everything will work because all the cores are x3d based where someone like myself that does video editing um, and things as well i needed a bit more productivity headroom so hence why i went with the 7900 would have gone with the 7950 but at the time there was no stock and there you have it that's what i found to be able to set the vcache to be used for gaming and as i said i found a significant performance increase and yeah i've had no no issues so far it's been been amazing i found even editing and things has been a lot better as well um uh, so yeah let me know what you guys think i'm curious to for your feedback if you have any issues what sort of what's your experience being with these cpus as well um drop your thoughts and things in the comments let me know as i said i'm always eager to learn and always to do discussion also make sure to join the discord uh link will be in the top of the description as well so feel free we can discuss and things over there and have a bit more of a nerdier chat uh, thanks for watching if you found this helpful remember to hit the like and subscribe button for more tech tips and performance optimizations and guides that i may come out with in the future as well as i'll be sharing gameplay and things as well so yeah happy gaming